Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this uh, webinar uh, uh, regarding uh, composite material or composite machining. You just had the, the introduction of uh, uh, our company, so the small video which presents you uh, the two, the two uh, factories. You saw one that you might know here in uh, Vendlincourt and the second one which is um, also uh, in, I mean, not far away from here, but in port 12 kilometers away. And you saw some uh, of uh, the, some of the uh, uh, market we do deserves. So medtech, watch industry, uh, aerospace, etc. And all these industries actually uh, are uh, using more and more composite material. Um, so uh, yeah, the, the, the many composites are currently chosen to replace the, the, the materials, the metals, and um, it might be because of their uh, organic uh, 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 characteristics like the stiffness, like the rigidity, like the flexibility. So it, each and every uh, composite has its own um, um, description. However, the, however, the machining is often very complicated because uh, when when you do machine such uh, uh, materials, you might have a different structure in, inside of it, and of course, it uh, requires uh, tools that are really dedicated for this kind of material. We will see that uh, a bit uh, further uh, during this presentation. Uh, during this presentation, as you know now, uh, you are able to also ask some questions and you can do it uh, on the Q&R uh, section of, the, uh, of your screen. And in parallel also, we, we will ask you some, uh, some questions, some, some questionnaire, a, a little poll uh, uh, during this, uh, this webinar in order to, to better know your needs and also uh, um, uh, drive a bit also our uh, development. So let's start with the first one. There we go. So what type of composite material do you machine uh, at most? You might have uh, choose different uh, uh, options as well. So before to, to go further, we, we will try to learn a bit uh, what uh, material compo uh, composite material is. So it's a combination of at least two immiscible but re uh, readily co penetrable components whose property complement each other. The resulting uh, new heterogeneous material has property that the individual components cannot have. And the, the phenomenon the, which makes it possible to improve the quality of the material with respect to a certain use so it means that if you need to have a, a lighter material, a more rigid material, explain the increasing use of such materials or such composites in the industry in, in, and also in various sectors. More precisely, so in, in the definition of composite material, you do have a matrix or, uh, and a reinforcement. You do see here the, uh, an envelope, so two, two envelopes like these ones and the below one, and in between you might have uh, different compo uh, components which differs or, or change the, the, the characteristic of that material. So it could be a matrix, as I said before, like, uh, like, a, like a mat, for instance, but it, it could also be uh, more rigid uh, stuff uh, like steel or, or carbon fibers or, or glass fibers, but it can also be bowls uh, like uh, in the glass, for instance. And one of the um, one of uh, of an example is you. I mean, a composite is also uh, not only with plastic, but for instance, uh, a concrete, a reinforced concrete, is already a composite material because the the concrete itself is not uh, that uh, uh, is really solid and and it's also really brittle. But when you add some steel inside of it, then you have uh, the properties of the steel which reinforce and, and makes it more rigid, the, 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 the complete thing. We may uh, ask ourselves also, why do we use more and more uh, composites? So I, I introduced that before, but of course you do have the uh, mechanical characteristic which might be influenced to use this kind of material, like the lightweight, the high mechanical resistance, the high level of freedom, so you can do any shape pretty, pretty much easily. 
electrical properties if you want it to be insulated or conductible. Corrosion resistance also if it's outside and it needs to be really weatherproof basically. Uh, you might uh, use uh, this kind of material. High resistance in fatigue, impact resistance etc etc like radar uh, as well uh, uh, ra radar absorbent uh, like in the planes also some material types that uh, are coming more and more in into request uh, in uh, louis bellet is uh, we we chose uh, four of them so let's start with the epoxy and carbon fibers so you see the fibers here it's like a a, a mat once again it's uh, crossed fibers uh, in carbon with the with a epoxy resin that makes the the, the material uh, with the uh, the performance you do want here uh, up uh, right you do have uh, also um, uh, carbon fibers but for instance for in the medical industry uh, we do use peak peak uh, reinforced uh, carbon reinforced this is a a, a, a big uh, request from from our customers uh, glass fibers or balls, uh, glass balls, glass, uh, uh, also uh, reinforce the, the the characteristic of the material, and of course, mostly used or a lot used in the in the aerospace industry or in the car industry, the honeycomb with uh, with the famous uh, uh, hexagonal shape uh, of the honeycombs. Uh, I will open maybe a second uh, poll. Uh, for you and asking you what are the the most problems you do uh, you do uh, face when you machine composite and actually to follow up on it uh, let me introduce the the most of the the, the problems our customer are having where, while machining a composite so delamination that we do see here is kind of a, a brittle of the of the different layers and this is one of the most problem our customer are encountering then uh, of course the burrs we we barely see here as well the burrs at the entrance or at the exit of the of the hole or of the the milling so the machining uh, the heat sensitivity due to the to the use of, of certain plastic of course i mean when you do machine you 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 generate heat and this heat is um, melting kind of kind of it uh, the the resin around the the material and if the plastic or the resin is too um, how to say is too uh, heat sensitive then it might um, melt it uh, of course uh, when you do have multiple type of uh, material that which is doing this uh, composite material uh, the, the, there is a, a really rapid wear of the cutting tools and this is the key uh, to play and uh, we want to, we want to, to, to talk about uh, in the next slide um, the geometry and the coating or the, or the um, uh, carbide type or the PCD type is really key in order to get the real uh, good um, cutting tools for uh, dedicated to this uh, kind of materials yeah, because it's a very abrasive material. Then you do have the uh, the fiber pullout, which makes some uh, really bad looking uh, surface state and uh, uncut resin and uncut fibers that you can see here or here. To control this problem, I, I introduced that uh, before. Uh, you need to, to have the right or the correct uh, cutting condition, but also the machining strategies. Um, the, the, the coating and the cutter's geometry are also uh, an issue. Um, it's on the last parameter that we, with the, the emergence of uh, multiple requests from our customer that we Bele, uh, decided to develop uh, dedicated uh, cutting tools for this kind of application. I will show you two types of drills that uh, that we do have the first one that we develop for uh, actually the aerospace industry is the 300 series and this 300 series does have multiple uh, um, um, characteristics that helps the the drill to work really well like the 90 degrees tip angle 
and uh, the dedicated coating as well. And you, you also see the, the helix, which is really steep in order to evacuate uh, really well the, the, um, the chips. Uh, the coating, two words about the coating, we, we developed, uh, or actually we, uh, we developed, yeah, we, we co-developed a, a coating with a coating manufacturer. And uh, this is a, an aerospace grade coating, uh, which has its code name uh, at Louis Bellet, Neo or Noe. The, the both, uh, both type of coating are really performant in the, in, in this, I mean, composite material. Uh, it gives a very, very good uh, uh, life duration and uh, its basis of the basis of this kind of um, of, of this coating is diamond. Talking about the life duration, uh, let me tell you that this uh, drill was developed for uh, uh, an aer uh, aerospace project, an aeronautical project, and we work um, in competition. Uh, with uh, 10 other brands and uh, Louis Bellet did uh, maybe um, 10, uh, yeah, it was 10 times more live duration than the competition. So a, a really um, uh, high performance uh, drill in composite material. And you can find it uh, in diameters from 0 0.5 to 6 millimeter in stock uh, here at uh, in, in our stock. And you see here uh, a video uh, with this drill. So it's a 300 series with a diameter of uh, one uh, millimeter. The cutting speed has uh, 100 meters per minute and it uh, leads to a 31,000 RPM in, on our Vilma Macodel machine test uh, series. Uh, the feed rate is the third, uh, one, one, divided, one divided by 30. So uh, we have here of one millimeter, so it's 0 0.03 millimeter per, per revolution. And uh, the feeding speed is uh, roughly 1000 millimeter per minute. Uh, the material that we did machine here is uh, epoxy uh, with uh, carbon fibers. Talking about drilling, uh, the PCD is also really performant in cutting composite material. With the tip here, you have a, a PCD tip, which is uh, grinded and you, you get really uh, high performance drills mostly. And also you can also uh, work faster with a cutting speed of uh, 400 meter per minute. Another uh, range of cutting tools that we do have are the end mills. So you see uh, here several uh, end mills. Carbide, the four, the four first are carbide and the two, second, the two last are in PCD. What you can see and what you maybe uh, are having a hard time to find on the market is the, the smaller diameter. So we don't go that high in, in dimensions, up to 6, 12 or even 16, but we do start mostly at uh, 0 0.5 millimeters. So the first one has, uh, and also the, the cutting speed will be between 150 and 200 meter per minute in carbon fiber with, uh, with um, feed per teeth of uh, diameter di divided by 70. And let's see it in action. So this here is a, a ball end mill, the 9120 with a diameter of 0 0.8. And you can see it uh, machining the LB logo on a composite material. I can show it to you here. And you have here the, the, the results. So uh, also it's, it's hard to see, but uh, yeah, there we go. It, it is a uh, untouch after the machining. So you, you can, you can guess that it's uh, really, really nice. And also the holes are really, uh, really nice, nicely made. No burr at the entrance, nor at the, at the output. So with this kind of, mat of cutters, you can really do um, uh, really high performance and really high quality machining, also in the small dimension. So uh, I will talk a bit more about the two in the middle. So the 9530 has uh, a unique uh, shape and basically it does have, it does have double, double helix and one helix like this and one helix like that. And why is that is when you are in the middle, when you are machining in the middle of the, of the material, it, it push the, the, the layers among others. Otherwise, if you have only one 
uh, side, then it might open the, the layers and you will have a lot of delamination. So this is really nice for uh, uh, roughing and also finishing uh, in, the, in the composite material, mainly if you do have uh, multiple layers. The next one is a so-called diamond diamond cut. So it's really a cross um, geometry. And this is also very efficient in roughing and also in semi, in, in semi finishing. Yeah. And also like with the, with the drills, the, the PCD uh, cutters or end mills, square or ball end are really performant in composite material. Of course, as you know, Louis Bellet is really strong in custom development of cutting tools. Here you do see uh, different types of uh, development that we did for composite and also for other uh, materials. But this is, you, you see here a PCD insert with a defined shape. Here you have a, an end mill, a really small end mill, uh, geometry or, or shape cutters. This is also a, a, an insert with a, with a, a dedicated shape. So any kind of, uh, of um, uh, cutters can be developed at Louis Bellet, as you, as you already know. And actually this is, this was a development for uh, the automotive industry. So this, this part here that you do see here is, uh, is actually a trunk of a car and uh, the customer is having uh, robot arms and of this robot arm, you do have uh, an end mill that we developed a six millimeter end mill in carbide and it makes some openings into the trunk. So the, the trunk is really a big, a big, uh, a big boy. Uh, and for uh, fixing uh, the, the trunk onto the, the, the main body or fixing uh, the, the headlamps, you need to do so, some openings and this is done with our uh, cutter. So it penetrates, so it drills and then contouring to make the, the shape the customer wants. In this uh, in this application, the customer is going is going is turning at uh, twenty thousand RPM on its uh, spindle with a cutting speed of uh, a feeding rate of um, feeding speed excuse me of four hundred and eighty uh, millimeter per minute. Let me open the last poll of the day uh, in order to to better know what type of uh, operation you, you are doing uh, on your side uh, for the composite machining. Um, in terms of uh, uh, machining strategy, there are five uh, things to remember. So the, the first one is to try to always attack the material in the perpendicular to the fiber or when it's not possible, the best compromise. Uh, favor the, the cutting in opposition take high and thin pass. So it's better to have the, the highest uh, machining at once. You, the advance is, uh, should be as fast as possible. And if you take a cutting speed of uh, something like 150 uh, in carbon fiber or fiberglass with uh, carbide uh, cutting tools with Neo or Noe uh, coatings, you are in the in the right uh, track on the on the target basically all right so i do uh i do come to the to the end of the presentation i i let you ask some questions if, if you do have but i want to first make the the two of the of the polls and um, give you some the the results so what type of composite material do you machine so most of it is a uh, fiber carbon fiber loaded peak with uh, 67%. Interesting it's it's one of the of the of the most demanded uh, material to to cut as well uh, from our customer. Um, then the carbon fibers in general with 50% uh, answers, glass fibers with uh, 33% and honeycomb uh, with 17%. Uh, let's go to the to the next the problems. So what type of problem do you can encounter when machining composite? With not uh, a lot of uh, surprise, it's uh, delamination and burrs. Uh, yes, with a 71 percent. The burrs with the burrs geometry of the cutter is really key to to remove the burrs at the entrance and at the exit as well. 
and you do have also different kind of burrs because you might have some burrs with uh, kind of fibers that are not cut or resin that is not cut but you might also have some like burnt material so with the geometry of the cutters plus some help on the uh, let's say the, the, the cutting parameters you might uh, improve this kind of uh, of burrs or reduce them then uh, premature tool wear yes uh, we see 57 percent this is this is clear. I mean, the wear of the cutter is uh, is really not easy to to handle, and either the coating in our case with a with a with a carbide uh, machining or PCD helps a lot in improving the life duration. Non cut non cut fibers. I think it's also a kind of burrs or delamination. The geometry, the coating, the sharpness of the of the cutting edge are definitely key to 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 solve this kind of problem. And the third poll was, what is your problematic opera uh, operation in the machining of the composite? So you are most doing the contouring, milling and the drilling uh, by 71%. So the, the cutting tools I, we, we did discussed about are the, the main uh, solution for, for this. Pocket milling and uh, threading, okay, uh, with 57%. Uh, threading, we didn't talk too much about it, but we do have uh, PCD thread cutters. So either thread mills or whirling tools. So that, that might be uh, interesting, interesting for you. Of course, we can apply uh, any uh, neo or no air coating on uh, carbide cutters. And sewing with a 14%, it's interesting. In the, in the other um, languages, we never had this kind of, uh, of operation requests. Uh, we, might, uh, we might help you if, you if you are having troubles in, in doing a uh, slitting operation. Um, all right, uh, I, I think we arrived at the end of the, of the presentation. You will find here my contact information. Uh, don't hesitate to contact me, to contact us, or to visit our website. Don't uh, forget also to subscribe on the, the social uh, networks. And um, I thank you very much to, to follow the, us at the, this afternoon or this morning for, for some of you. And uh, yeah, I, I hope to see you uh, really, really near, in a near future. To, for your information, we'll be at the MDNM. Um, MDNM uh, trade show uh, early August from I think the 10th to the 14th of August in Anaheim, California and we also will be at the uh, motion, uh, MP motion and Power uh, Expo uh, so the former uh, Gear Expo in Indianapolis uh, in September and I also plan to come in October uh, to the US. So don't hesitate to contact me if you want, if you wish me to, to come and, and do a visit. And anytime, of course, you can, you can contact me, us on the web or on the social media to, 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 to try to, to help you in, uh, in, the, um, in your needs. I do not see any questions. So I'm always here. Um, take care. Uh, enjoy your day and uh, enjoy machining uh, with Louis Bellet cutters. Bye bye, thank you.